Welcome back to my channel. This is Stephanie. I'm also known as Glissy Gem. Uh, thank you for joining me here today. Much love to you guys. Really do appreciate it. Um, so today is Mass Monday, yes, and I'm uploading this pretty late, you know, in the evening. I was just enjoying my, you know, you know, my Monday, you know, since I have off from work today and, um, you know, had a pretty good weekend. So just, I'm just taking it easy, relaxing. And um, so I just decided no rush on my mask today, you know. So um, I will be putting this mask on called the Glitter by Be Pure. I got this at the Dollar Tree, and it's the it's called the Glitter Face Mask Peel Off Gel. And I thought it was just it's gonna be like a gel mask already. It was already like like a gel mask that you can just put on, but no, it is it's actually the it's actually clear like a clear substance where I have to actually spread it on my face so give me one second while I do that I'm gonna go ahead and take these eye patches off I had I had them on already for about 20 minutes already so it's time to take them off I'm not sure if it's doing any kind of effect you know with my under with my bags under the eyes or under under eye bags but these are the do of the gods eye patches so and I'm just testing them out just to see how they do. I do have a, you know, I still have quite a bit of these masks to test out and let you know what my review is on them. So let me just get started to put this on. So give me one second. All right, so I, I put it on. You know, it's clear. And it's not so much glitter. Like it says it's a glitter face mask and it's supposed to be berry scented. I'm not smelling the berries and I'm not seeing the color. Ro I thought the mask was going to be this color. But it's a clear color. So, yeah, this was my first time getting uh, a mask like this from the Dollar Tree for it being all clear. Uh, you can see that there's still a little bit of, you know, uh, gel in there, but um, it's supposed to go on. It's supposed to look pink, and it doesn't look pink on me. <laughs> Maybe it'll turn pink. Who knows? We'll see. So, so how's y'all's weekend been? Hope y'all had a great weekend. I hope y'all enjoyed uh, this three-day weekend. If y'all have, if you're off, if you're off from work, you know, Saturdays and Sundays, and then you were off this Monday as well. So, um, in today's video, we're going to go ahead and go over some empties that I have. I hope you guys enjoy watching that type of content, you know, the empties, you know, giving you my review of my empties in my wastebasket. <laughs> so, this is the wastebasket I have where I put all my empties in. So, uh, first of all, thank you for being here and being here for all the support of my channel. Really do appreciate it. And for those who have been watching and have not subscribed, uh, thank you for being here as well. If you subscribe, that would really, great, really help me out a lot. And um, I really would appreciate it. So, the first thing I'm putting on my waistband is this here. It's a, um, it's just a wrapping packaging for some hair, some chopsticks for my, for the hair. And I really did enjoy having these chopsticks around there were two pairs so I did I'm getting use out of those I've actually worn them in a few of my videos already so I really do like these a lot got these from shop miss say shop miss say is a really good um, online a website to go shop for really uh, for like dollar products you know and you know, really, you get really good bargains off of that. Besides Timu, I think I haven't been on Timu for a while because I, I haven't really been needing any anything. So, um, yeah. And then, so the next thing I'm pulling out of my basket here is the Face Tori, oh my goodness, Rejuvenating Snow Mask. This is a pretty good mask. Um, I liked, I liked that it, it was very lightly scented. And I did like the way um, it left my skin after wearing it. So, I do recommend those who like to shop on Face Tori. Um, like I said, I'm a Face Tori ambassador. I'm not sure if I mentioned that already, but if I have it, I'm a Face Tori ambassador. I do have a coupon code down below. You can always click on the link, and then you can go onto Face Tori and do your make your purchase, and then you can always check out with my with my um, coupon code. So um, I do love face masks. You know, whether it be sheet masks or it could be a peel off mask or it could be, um, you know, those clay masks. I just love doing face masks. Now, I was, I never was into doing face masks, but, uh, so now I'm just addicted to doing face masks. And they do real good for my skin, you know. So, I'm, I, I, you know, I keep continuing doing my routine, you know, using my face masks. 
All right, so the next thing I'm putting out of my waste basket here is another face story mask. This is called the H2O, the Woe H2O face mask. Really cute face mask. Um, there's no character. It was no characters on this mask. It was just more of a hydrating mask. You get an, I think there was an ampule. Yeah, there's an ampule that you put on first, and then you put the face mask on after that. So this one was really good, also from Face Story. I usually don't have any complaints with Face Story masks. Uh, they're all, they all do a really good job. All the face masks do a really good job. There's just some face masks that I that I prefer over others. You know, when it comes to some of their tissue textures, and you know, so it all depends on on what kind they are, and so that's the reason why, um, you know. Even though they're still good, they're, you know, I still have preferences, you know, regarding their texture and what kind of tissue they are. So the next face wearing mask that I wore, so it was a face toy a month, I guess I should say. <laughs> um, the next face wearing mask I have here is the Ace That Face Collagen Mask. This one was really good as well. I do recommend these three masks, you know, for you to go and purchase on, on the website. And then we have a foot mask. I really didn't like this foot mask uh, for the simple fact that it wasn't, uh, this isn't practical for those who have like really cracked feet um, and it isn't practical as far as, you know, the, um, it, it wasn't a sock. It was like a plastic and it was like a boat type of plastic that you put your foot in, but it was kind of big. I mean, it was, it was really big, <laughs> you know, but um, nonetheless, I still put it on. And then um, it's good for like a quick and easy type of, um, you know, uh, moisturizing for your for your foot, moisturizer for your foot. But um, I wouldn't suggest it for those who have like really dry, cracked, you know, feet because this will not work for you. <laughs> not not instantly like that. You, you know, it's something that you probably need like more targeted foot mask for those types of you know, issues for your foot. This one is just mostly just to make your feet feel moisturized, you know, like a quick and easy moisturizing feeling for your feet, but it doesn't help you with, um, like if you have any calluses or dry or cracked feet, like what I'm trying to say. So, so, um, it was okay for me. I wouldn't buy it again. Um, I'm not going to, I mean, for those who don't mind, you know, having like a plastic boat sized, um, sock or something to put your foot in and you know for quick and easy moisturizing for your foot then go you know by all means you know then um then it'll be great for you guys but um i wouldn't recommend it I, i'd rather get something that's more like where you, you put on like a regular sock you know you put in then you put like a I don't know something something not like this you know i have to explore more of these foot masks because i never tried foot masks before and so I just I just need to explore them more and this is from spa descriptions from uh, shop Missé as well so that's another reason why um, I like shop Missé <laughs> they have so many good so many so many goodies on shop Missé we'll be having a shop Missé haul coming up to show you guys uh, this week so stay tuned for those video for that video I say those videos because I think it's gonna be like a two or three part video because I had gotten like two hauls and like like back to back I just got two hauls like from one day to the next I don't know I just because I think they had a sale and then they had another sale back to back or something I don't know what made me want to get two hauls from shop Missy, but I love shopping off their site and I think there was just some things that I was missing for like giveaways so that's the, re that's the reason why I went on their site and shopped and I think I also shopped a different type of um, foot mask so I can test it out and do an empties video again and review that one for you guys but um yeah um like i said it's up to your preference if you like a mask i mean a foot mask that you know uh that doesn't bother you if it's like you know the sock is made out of plastic or it's like a plastic booty and you know and then you just put your your foot in it and it doesn't really hold your doesn't that it doesn't really hold your foot you know the booty doesn't the booty the 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 sock or plastic booty boat plastic shaped um, foot mask doesn't really hold your foot you know tight to where you get you're getting benefits of the serum 
all around her foot, you know, so that's the only, the only thing I didn't like about it either, so. Um, so the next thing out of my basket here is the Christoph Robin Paris Instant Volumizing Leave-In leave Mist. There's nothing else in here. It's empty. Uh, it's so, um, you know, glad that I got to use this up. This is very good. Um, I love the scent. I love rose water. And the reason why I say it's really good is because um, it's a leave-in conditioner or leave-in treatment. You After you take a shower or you wash your hair, you um, put this on, you know, whether it's wet, damp, or dry. So, and once it dries, you're able to straighten out your hair and it makes your hair real volumized and it makes your hair look shiny and um the only bad thing about it is that you probably would need like some kind of heat protectant if you do straighten out your hair or blow dry hair you know you would need a heat protector because even though this does leave your hair looking shiny and volumized after using the flat iron you do get some split ends so so this is a really good leave-in treatment though and it's for volumizing so and i really did really did do that for me so i really um enjoyed that and i don't mind getting that again in, in a future purchase all right, the next thing in here that I have is the Neutrogena Invisible Daily Defense Face Serum. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't know what to say about this. Um, it's actually a um, sunscreen and it's an SPF 60. I do like that it's an SPF 60. I, um, I noticed that once, you know, it started to get really hot and um, I noticed that once it started to get really hot, I started noticing that it would get in my eye and every time it would get in my eye it would start to it would start to itch it would start to burn and it would not burn but itch I'd start to get like watery eyes and my eye would start would start watering and then people would think I was crying they're like are you okay you need a tissue and then yeah yeah you need to get a tissue because it, it you know once it goes into your eye and I think that's with all all um sunscreens but I never experienced this with my my unseen sunscreen from what is it from it's called the uh, uh, I think it's called goop something goop but there's this one sunscreen that I do like a lot and it's um, let me see if I can think of the name it's called I actually have it on a purse right now, but I'm just too lazy to get into my purse and grab it for you guys and show it to you. So I'm actually wearing that one right now, and it's called Goop. Super Goop, that's what it's called. Okay, so it's not like my Super Goop. My Super Goop, that one, you put it on your skin, it doesn't fall into your eyes like this one did. And um, so that's another reason why um, I like sunscreen, so... I'm not going to say anything bad about it, just that it does get into your eye and then you will need a napkin or tissue to, you know, you know, get rid of your watery eyes. So I do got to say that. So if, if that bothers you, then I wouldn't recommend you getting that. Maybe I would recommend you getting the super goop because even though the super goop, you know, even after you sweat or, um, yeah, after you sweat and it starts rolling down your face and it gets into your eye, it's not, it's, it, you can't feel it's a very slight um, sensation you'll get in your eye um, so I do gotta say that you know but I do I mean all sunscreens you know once they get wet and they and they fall into your eye they they do burn your eye they do they do make your eye itchy and they do burn your eye I do gotta tell you that so uh, but with the super goop I really didn't have that issue or that problem where um, where if I sweat and it started rolling down my face I would have like a really big issue big problem where I couldn't see or I was having very watery eyes as I did with the Neutrogena one so yeah um, the next thing in my empties here in this waste basket is the Ulta my Ulta Beauty tinted eye primer in champagne my goodness, it took me forever to get rid of this sh this primer, okay? It took me a very long time. So I do recommend this for anybody who's interested in like a uh, primer that really sticks to your, to your eyes. Um, it mattifies it or it just makes, it just leaves you like this coat over your lids. 
leaves you a coat over your lids that um, looks like it's mattified, like it mattifies, but really it just gives you like the shimmer to your eye, to your, yeah, to your eyelid. And it does um, protect you from oily lids. If you have oily lids, I do recommend that Ulta Beauty Tinted Primer and Champagne. So you let me in the comments down below. I mean, do y'all, you know, do y'all use, do y'all use any of these products, you know, that I have shown you guys in this video? I'm showing you my face. I have this, I have this gash on my skin, on my face. Didn't know. I don't even know how I got that gash on my face right here. Don't even know. Uh, but I got it like maybe a few days ago. Maybe like on a Friday. I think I, I think I might have messed with it on a Friday. I think it was like a bubble. And it was itchy. So when I itched it, water came out of this bubble from my face. And I couldn't tell it was a bubble on my face. And when I itched it, I realized that it was, it was, there was water inside the skin, underneath my skin. And then it just started to get like, it started to get like that. It started to like, look like it was scabbing up. So, yeah. So, um. That's my story behind this right here. This gash. But, um, as you guys, you can tell, I'm, I'm getting real sleepy. Lately, I've been real tired. I've been, uh, I've been getting enough rest, I think. I think I'm getting enough rest. But, um, I've been feeling really tired lately. I don't know why. Um, Give me a little life update on well moving update actually i am still needing to sign the contract to move out. i actually got approved for a place to move out to um i think i still be here in this old address still for about another month and i think by the by the end of this month i'll be probably moved in at the other place i'm not sure because it's going to cost a lot of money to move the trailer um it does cost, it's going to cost me $2,800 to move the trailer out. Then you need an electrician and a plumber. I don't know how much that's going to be. I, I've called around and they're charging like anywhere from $2,000 on up, you know, when you're calling for electricians and plumbers, you know. So I'm going to need both. Not to mention I have to connect light, you know, and water. So I think the water, the water is provided already. I think they said that they would, they would connect the water. But, um... I think they said I have to get a plumber to connect the water or something like that uh, at the place that I was going to go. That's going to go move the, the, the trailer to. But, um, and um, I'm not sure if the water is included in the rent or if I have to, I have to go and get my own water services where I pay for my own water. And I pay for my own electricity. So to get services out there as well, you know, where I'm going to move to, it's, it's, you know, I still had to pay like probably a deposit or a fee. You know to get that done so you're talking about anywhere close to like you know the cheapest I can say if I do if I get people that I know or like if I get a family member that you know that does like you know electrician work and the city or, or the place where I go to don't need too many permits or don't need any permits where I'm going to then I can get a family member to do it for me where they can connect the electricity. The, the, where I don't have to get a, like a licensed electrician and they can just connect my electricity. Or, and then for the plumbing as well, I, ha I have a neighbor here, uh, fortunate enough to have a neighbor here <laughs> that, uh, that actually has her husband. Her husband, her husband does, you know, his living is doing a plumbing. This is living. So I'm fortunate enough, and she's a really kind neighbor that I have. I mean, me and her, we've talked. She's invited me over to her house. We've had, she's, she's, she had, um, she has had invited me over to have supper with her, you know. So we've, we, you know, we've, we have a good relationship, you know, as neighbors, and you know, fortunate enough to know that her husband, you know, is a plumber. So. He said he he would do the plumbing for me, so I I'm gonna save a lot of money there. I'm hoping I'm gonna save a lot of money, you know, because um, I'm just hoping that he'll give me he'll give me a good price on my plumbing because it is very expensive. And so if I get a good deal, if if that all happens for me, I'll be fortunate enough to leave out of here. Um, 
I have no choice to leave. I have no choice to stay or to leave. It all depends on the manager. So there's a reason behind that, but I'm not going to discuss that on, you know, with you guys about why, you know, I have to leave. It's not, it had, it had nothing to do with me, you know, it has nothing to do with me per se why I have to leave, but I know there's a reason why I have to leave, but <clears throat> not because of being, not because it's my choice or because it's because of me, you know, it was a choice that the owner had made, but, um, <clears throat> the manager had made, but then I spoke to the owner again, and maybe the owner is going to probably, you know, make, you know, will allow me to stay, so who knows, maybe I might not be moving, you know, so I hope that, um, something positive, something, something good will come out of this, you know, like, you know, I've been very fortunate, you know, I've been very blessed and very fortunate, very grateful for what I, what I, what I've been you know, what I've been coming across, you know, with all these, like, you know, hardships and trials and tribulations, you know, I've, you know, I've had so much faith, and, um, I think that's what, that, that has been, uh, keeping me going, and has, has had protected me, you know, uh, with everything that's been going on, with all these issues that have been going on, personal issues that have been going on in my life, you know, I think I've, you know, I've been very fortunate enough and blessed you know, that I really never had to face big, like, I, I never had, I never had to face any kind of, like, uh, anything that I couldn't overcome, so I am so fortunate about that, and I've been very exhausted and tired last week, you know, all week I've been so exhausted, so excuse me, I'm po I apologize again, you know, if I, if I don't ever, if I don't put out as much content as I normally would. Or if I don't sound up to beat or up to up to key, you know, <laughs> if I don't sound up key, up key to in my videos, I do apologize for that. Yeah, I was just telling myself, you know, like why worry over things that I have no control over. Um, I can only control what I can on my end, and just hope for the best. And and that's what I'm doing. I'm just leaving it all in God's hands. You know, just. No, he's the one that's gonna guide me in the direction that I need to that I need to go. And like at the end, like I said, at the end, I'm just everything will work out. You know, I will not be put in a position where I'm gonna be hindered or where I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna be at a loss. You know, I'm not gonna be put in a position like that. You know, because I have faith that that's not gonna happen to me. But it seems like my mask looks like it feels like it's drying already. So you can see like my face looks like glass. My face looks like glass right now, you guys. Oh my goodness. So I do feel like it's still a little damp right here, but I've been binge watching a lot of uh, uh, Asian dramas. I've been binge watching a lot of those, and uh, they've just been very soothing and calming. I think that's what they've been. I've been coping a lot with them, you know, with with the Asian dramas because. Um, I don't know, they're just so different than, you know, the typical movies you watch, or they're, they're just so different than some of the TV shows, TV, or movies that are coming on TV right now, they're just so different, such a different culture, you know, they have different, um, way of, they have a different, different way of living, like, as far as their principles go, and their culture goes, you know, so, I'm very interested in their culture, very, like, I mean, their culture's you know, to me, from the from what I see in the, the their dramas, they're they're pretty they're pretty like they're all about honor, all about reputation, all about um good principles and morals. So I really do like that about those Asian um, Asian TV novels or what do you call them? TV shows, those Asian shows dramas I guess you call them but um it still feels wet here all right well I'm gonna try to attempt to take this mask off I know it's probably gonna be all over the place because I don't think it's gonna come out all on like one one whole piece and it didn't turn pink like it showed in the end on the on the actual 
on the actual picture. It didn't turn pink. Give me one second. I'm going to try to peel this off. So I'll be right back. Guys, this looks so funny with my face. My face looks like glass right now. <laughs> All right, give me one second. All right, guys, I'm back. Here's my peel off mask. <laughs> yep. It's seen, uh, yeah, I tore it all up. I tore it up, taking it off, but it, it didn't even turn pink like in the picture. I thought it was going to be pink. It's actually clear. Um, so I did like the way it left my skin. It, it gave my skin like this mattifying look. Um, yeah, and it also, I still look like I still have like a little shine or a little glow, but it's like a really light, dim glow to my skin. So, I mean, I really did like, I did like the results of this mask, to be honest with you. Not sure what that dark spot is on my skin. Oh, that's just a shadow. That's just a shadow. All right, but that is everything, and, um, Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. All right, you have a great, wonderful day. Bye.